So these days, you know, pretty much if we're if we're running a business or if we're providing services or content to anybody, we're probably out there in some way, whether through Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever it is. And maybe we have an engaged audience. Maybe people are following us and we're successful. But then the question becomes, how do we sustain this at scale? I mean, it is definitely a big challenge to solve, and it is the first challenge to solve, I think. What content or what offering do we have to share with the world? Um, and I think one of the biggest challenges can be that people try to think about money and um, all that before they figure out their offering and what they can actually give to people. And more so than any other time, I think that's an important thing to answer because pretty much everybody and anybody can be producing content. And so there's a lot of competition, there's a lot of noise, but in the same way, there's actually opportunity because of this fact. You know, the thing is, if you are creating content and you have something of value, there's always going to be an audience that's ready to engage with you on that. So the question becomes, once you get to the point where you have solved that problem, what you're offering, then the question is, how do you uh, maintain that? in terms of supporting yourself financially, because it's a lot of effort to do these productions. Um, and the thing is, we need to find ways when we do this to financially support ourselves, because it's not gonna help us or our audience if we come to a point where things are out of balance in that area. So membership sites are a great answer to this question of how do I sustainably build and maintain a content business. Um, and it has a lot to do with engagement. You know, the, the thing about um, connecting with people on social uh, and getting likes and things like that, that's all very good. And it builds credibility, it builds a wide audience of people. But at some point that relationship needs to switch to something more intimate um, something with an agreement. And this is something that the people who, who consume your content will appreciate just as much as you will. So then it, it comes down to um, you instructing them on how you want them to engage with you. And this is where the membership site comes in. Because with a membership site, people are going into a more intimate setting with you. They're, they're coming into your home. And this could be a free membership level. You know, the, the power of a free membership level is there's no, there's no obstacle other than somebody just signing up with you, you know, saying, I want to be, I want to hear what you have to say. I want to get notifications. I want to be a part of your community because I appreciate your message, right? So the free membership level it's a subtle distinction, but it's very powerful. So they come into your site and now they're actually taking a specific action to be a part of your community. They're logging in. They're inside of your walls, not the YouTube walls, not the Instagram walls. So there's a different feeling and you can control this experience. It becomes more about your personality. What is how do you like things to look? How do you like to present things to people? And the thing about now, them now being a part of your free membership is it's somewhere where you have many opportunities available to you to how to grow this and have a conversation with your audience. Um, and each one of these opportunities is essentially the life happens over the course of a lifespan of the business. This isn't something that you set up from day one, but what you do when you have a membership site is you make it a, a possibility to ultimately be able to do these things. You know, and one of the first things you might consider doing, especially if you're creating content, is 
creating paid content, right? So maybe you have a course. Now, if people are just engaging with you on YouTube or Instagram, they have no way to, without you know, a certain number of steps, purchasing something from you. But if they're coming and engaging with you on your membership site, now it's really easy. They click a button and they purchase it right on your site. Or if they've already purchased something from you, they click a button uh, using the card on file and they just purchase it with one click. So the other advantage of people being in a membership site, especially in regards to member mouse, is there's this tool called Smart Tags. And Smart Tags allow you to have a dynamic conversation with the customer, with the member, based on what they've done with you. So if they've never purchased anything from you, you can detect that and say, hey, like maybe you'd be interested in this course, you know? Or if they have purchased something from you, you can do the same. You can say, oh, hey, I see you bought this course. Maybe you'd be interested in this one. So you're getting, by having somebody inside those walls of the membership site, you have the opportunity for personalization. You have an opportunity to evolve the conversation with these people, right? In a direct way, because now you can, you can engage with them based on specific actions they've taken. Now, this is not only more helpful for them because they're getting a targeted information, but it's also more helpful for you because now when you release something for specific segments of your audience, you can directly put it in front of the people you know who will most benefit from it, which you can't do if you're just broadcasting things in a general way to a YouTube channel. You know, you can, you basically have to say up front, hey, this is who this content is for. If this is you, then continue watching, right? So you're, it's, it's like we're already doing it. We're already trying to educate and segment our audience when we put content in front of them. But it's a little bit clunky because we have to, they have to um, understand who you're targeting and then make the decision on their own. Whereas in a membership site, they don't, it's all gonna be transparent to them because the decisions are being made through the power of the tool that's powering your membership site, not through any sort of upfront uh, messaging that you have to give to them. Um, so this is one of the main benefits of a membership site. It's, it's basically the platform, it's a personal platform from which you can then grow your business in the way that works for you, in the way that works for your audience, and you have 100% control over it, you know? So if you're somebody who has had success with creating content, you've gotten that momentum going, you know your content calendar, you've got your production down, then it might be time for you to consider a membership site so that you can start building a more dynamic relationship with the people who follow you. And the thing is, like I know for myself, the people who I follow on, on different networks, I appreciate what they do. And I am looking for opportunities to support them. And that comes down to that person to give me that, provide me with that opportunity to give something back to them because so many people that I follow and that I watch, they don't have a way that they've set up to monetize their content. And it, it seems imbalanced, you know, like I want to support them and I'm sure there, there are other people like me, you know, there are certain types of people who just 
you know, they appreciate the free content and they always want to stay at that level. But for people like me who are ready to take action and get somewhere, I'm willing to make an exchange with somebody to have a more intimate relationship with a person and get access to more uh, specific training, right? Because the other thing about uh, a membership site is that it's gonna be a smaller group, which means that whoever's producing the content, if it's you, that means that you can have a more specific conversation with those people because you know more about them. And this is gonna have a, um, an exponential effect in terms of the growth because you're gonna be more specific with what content you're creating and you're gonna be able to afford to do that because for a smaller audience, because that audience is gonna be giving something back in exchange for that more specific conversation with you. And now that you're producing that content for a smaller audience, you'll actually find that there are more people like that. And now that you've gained momentum, word of mouth, and people um, have gotten benefit, they're gonna share it with people like them. And now they have a place to go where they can then sign up and be a member of your community as well. Now you may say, well, if I create a membership site, that's gonna be more work, right? That'll be something for me, a new tool to learn and maintain. And yes, that's true. Um, but the thing is, if you think back to a point before uh, you built the thing that you have now with the content creation and everything, whatever you're doing, or even if you haven't started yet, you can still think of something where you were at square one, right? And there's always these daunting aspects of starting something new. And there's always stuff to learn. Um, and it's no different with a membership site. But it's good in addition to understanding the challenges involved to also keep in mind the benefits. And the key benefit to the membership site is that you are building a platform from which you can create a sustainable business, right? Something that's going to provide income to you and something that's going to support you in providing more content to the audience that wants to hear from you. Because it's great to have content that an audience engages with, but if we don't find ways to monetize that to a point where it can, um, it, can, it can support us to continue to do it, then we can end up in situations where we're doing something um, that's imbalanced. We're giving more than we're receiving, and that's not sustainable, right? So the thing about a membership site is, yes, it will take some work, but it's going to be something that has a lot of legs to it. I mean, we've been running our membership site for 10 years now, and there's always more ways that it can be improved and fine-tuned. And it's not that those things need to be thought about on day one. A membership site can be started minimally, and the things provided on it, you don't need to be doing the things that people who have been doing it for five years are doing right from the beginning. Um, and a lot of times I find that the reasons that people get overwhelmed is because they're thinking about having to do those things. For example, a big one is design, website design. You know, I think a lot of people think that if they're gonna put a website up, they have to put a lot of effort into how it looks and how it feels. And it's true that things need to be intuitive and they need to make sense. But as far as visually, the design isn't so important in terms of the success of the project, especially if you're, built, if you're focusing most of your attention on building a relationship. People are there for you. They're not there for how your site looks. And ultimately, the thing that makes a membership site successful or not is not how it looks, it's the product that you're providing to people. So this is the number one thing to focus on up front. And so keeping that in mind, you know, getting something up could be done in as little as a number of hours, right? 
you can get it up in a number of hours and you can work on it for a number of years, right? So the thing is not to get prematurely overwhelmed by thinking about the things that are coming down the road on day one, because they don't have to be done on day one. Okay. So that's important to remember.